It's just over a week now until the first Monkey Island Tall Tale drops, and I can't wait to venture into the new content. There has been a lot of speculation about what new features are likely coming to the game with the release of the new Tall Tales, and lots of discussion about whether we'll get new equipment, new tools, and maybe even a new enemy type. So when A Pirate's Life was released back in 2021, there were several new things which were added, not only to the Tall Tales, but also to the adventure mode and overall game. I think it's safe to say that players are hoping for a similar thing to happen with the release of the Monkey Island Tall Tales. The question is, are there any hints as to what those things could be? Hello Pirates, my name is Ellie and I post regular Sea of Thieves videos on this channel. If you want to stay up to date with the game, then remember to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when I put up a new video. So the biggest thing that seems to have come from the trailer and the tweet that Sea of Thieves dropped on announcing the Monkey Island update is the introduction of zip lines. Not only are they seen in the trailer quite prominently, but they also list them specifically as a new feature when announcing the update on their Twitter account. Now, don't get me wrong, if any of you have played the Monkey Island games, you'll know that one of the most memorable puzzles involved a rubber chicken and a pulley in order to use a zipline to traverse an area in the game. So this reference to ziplines could very well just be referring to that puzzle and its recreation in the Sea of Thieves tall tale. However, I do find it interesting that they have specifically listed ziplines as a new feature. My only question would be what their use would be in adventure mode. Aside from it being fun to traverse some of the bigger islands with ziplines, I can't see a real use for them. It's highly unlikely that they'll be used for boarding, like some have suggested, merely because it wouldn't really make sense from a mechanics point of view. Sloop to sloop just wouldn't really work because the ships are the same size, so you're not going downhill if you try and board on a zipline. And Rare also just nerfed the harpoon board, so it's unlikely that they would then immediately add a new boarding method which would be just as surprising for new players as the harpoon board was. I am very interested to see how zip lines end up in adventure on islands, if at all, and how they'll be used if they're added. I imagine it would be really fun to zip around the bigger islands, but beyond that I'm not really sure what their use would be. Chase cannons were also seen in the trailer and a lot of people got excited thinking about the possibility of using chase cannons on their own ships. Unfortunately, sorry to burst any bubbles, but this scene is 100% from the heart of one of the tall tales and is almost certainly Captain Kate's ship from Monkey Island Universe. And just in the same way that the Flying Dutchman wasn't added as a playable ship, the Headless Monkey is also unlikely to be something we can use in adventure mode. From a balance point of view, I would be amazed if they added chase cannons. Unfortunately, I think the best we might get is the ability to use the chase cannons in some part of the tall tale, like we got to use the cannons on the Dutchman in A Pirate's Life. And even that might be a stretch given what's happening in the scene where the cannons are shown off. So what about a new enemy type? One thing that hasn't been talked about much, although I did see Falcor mention it in his video, is that in the trailer, LeChuck, the main villain from the Monkey Island stories, arrives by exploding into existence, and on his hat the same symbol as the Mega Keg can be seen. Now, this could be a big clue for a new enemy type coming to the game. This is obviously pure speculation, but Rare did post a Monkey Island reveal update to their website, and within that article it says that we will tussle with adversaries, which suggests an enemy type of some kind to battle during these tall tales. Nothing else has been revealed about enemy types we will be fighting, and I do wonder if perhaps a new enemy type that explodes into existence could be something interesting. In A Pirate's Life, we fought phantoms, and they have a similar, suddenly there spawn, and so it is possible that a new type of surprise enemy type could be coming with this update. I do like the idea of it, but obviously this is just speculation at this point, and until the tall tale releases, we won't know if we're getting a new enemy type or not. Another thing to consider is the exploration for this update. With A Pirate's Life, the new areas were large and fun to explore, and there were journals to find. If Melee Island has been faithfully recreated in Sea of Thieves, then it will likely be pretty large and allow for a decent amount of exploration, and I hope lots of secrets and things to find. When the Tall Tales were announced, a lot of people had concerns over the fact that it was just three Tall Tales being added but apparently these tall tales are the most intricate and lengthy tall tales they've ever done. Mike Chapman confirmed on Twitter in response to Ghost Admiral that these tall tales are the most sophisticated and longest they've ever created, so that is exciting for sure. 
In terms of the story aspect, I know a lot of players, myself included, are worried about the main Sea of Thieves plot being left behind while we go off on yet another adventure that's not following the main story of Flameheart's return. However, Mike Chapman did confirm on Twitter around the reveal of Monkey Island update, and again during the podcast just last week, that there is actually a link to the Flameheart story throughout the Monkey Island tall tales, and I am really excited to learn what that link is. Mike Chapman also said in another tweet something pretty interesting. The content flow is going to pick up now, with the new content each month in the form of the new Tall Tales. The first Monkey Island one at the end of Season 9, followed by the remaining two in Season 10, alongside the seasonal content, and then Season 11 after that. I can't help but feel that given the way he worded his tweet, it sounds like Season 11 could be something pretty big, and so that has me excited for the future of Sea of Thieves again. I do wish it wasn't quite so far away though. I will say that the latest adventure was a little tease into the style of play for the Monkey Island update. For anyone who has played the games, they would likely know what I'm talking about. Apparently I wasn't the only one who felt that way, because Behaving Beardly at Sotfest had this to say during his panel when he was asked about the upcoming Monkey Island update. And then with Dark Deception, the kind of new little mechanics they had it in, which I think is just kind of a way to tease us into Monkey Island, like, because this is how Monkey Island works. Like, you want to get something from someone, and they're like, no, I'm not going to give you it, but I would like a cookie right now. And you've got to go find someone and find a cookie, and then you get the cookie, and you give it to that person, and they give you what you want. And I think it kind of introduced that kind of style of playing a, oh, that's cool. to prepare us for Monkey Island. That's what I think, anyway. Rare do seem to be keeping a lot of the details close to their chest for this update, which I think is great. We've not really seen any information beyond the trailer, and the blog post on their website essentially says that they want us to discover all the new things for ourselves, and I think that is a great way to go about this. Are you excited for the update next week? Do you think there are going to be some surprises this time around? Let me know down in the comments. I did want to just say a massive thank you for the support on my latest video, I really do appreciate all the comments, and it's nice to know that I'm not the only one who's been feeling that way about the game at the moment. However, it's also nice to be talking about something more positive now, and so hopefully with new content just a week away, we should be focusing on much more exciting things from now on. If you liked the video, then please do leave a like and subscribe for more Sea of Thieves content. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you on the seas.